Revelation 12, verse 12, which states, Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury, because he knows that his time is short. From this verse, we can establish that the devil is on this earth because the Bible says, Woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. From this verse, we can also establish that the devil is angry. In fact, the Bible says, Satan is filled with fury because his time is short. And if his time is short, well, that means that the time is nearer when it comes to the return of Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, if you step back to really study and understand what Revelation 12 verse 12 is saying, you will come to understand the reason why sin and evil is so rampant in our world. Now, the book of Revelation is full of imagery and symbolism, and this verse is no exception. It speaks of great war in heaven, where the dragon, also known as the devil and his angels, fought against Michael and his angels. Satan and his followers were defeated and cast down to earth, where he is filled with fury and seeks to cause chaos and destruction. The illustration I want to use to explain this passage is that of a caged lion. Imagine a lion in a zoo, pacing back and forth in its cage. The lion is powerful and dangerous, but is confined to a small space. The bars of the cage keep the lion from causing harm to those outside the cage. Now, imagine that that cage door is suddenly opened and the lion is released. The lion is filled with fury and runs rampant, attacking everything in its path. This is similar to what is happening with Satan. He was once confined to the spiritual realm, but he has been released to roam the earth. He is filled with fury and seeks to attack and destroy everything in his path. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5 verse 8, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. But why is Satan so determined to cause destruction? The answer lies in his rebellion against God. Satan was once an angel of God, but he rebelled and was cast out of heaven. Since then, he's been waging war against God and his people, seeking to lead as many souls as possible astray from the truth. And this is why sin and evil are so rampant in this world. Satan is actively working to lead people into temptation and sin, hoping to draw them away from God and towards eternal damnation. But we should not be afraid, for Jesus has already defeated Satan on the cross. In conclusion, Revelation 12 verse 12 reminds us that sin and evil are rampant in this world because of Satan's rebellion against God. As Christians, we can take comfort in the fact that Jesus has already won the victory over Satan, and through him, we have the power to resist temptation and overcome evil. Let us put our faith in Jesus and stand firm against the schemes of the devil, knowing that our eternal reward is secure in Christ. You and I as believers need to make sure that our focus is only on Jesus Christ. We should focus on the one who is the way, the truth, and the life, and that is Jesus Christ, who explicitly said, no one comes to the Father except through me. You and I need to make sure that we are not found to be the people stated in Matthew 7 verse 22, where the Bible says, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? and in your name drive out demons, and in your name perform many miracles? The wise among us will be watchful. They'll see the signs of the times because they study God's word. But the foolish? The foolish will fall asleep 
They will miss the signs because of a lack of knowledge. Pray for wisdom, saints of God. We ought to be wise in these times that we live in. We ought to be spirit-filled and spirit-led. We ought to get our lives ready and stay ready, waiting for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to fulfill his promise. The Bible tells us in John chapter 14, verse 2 to 3, In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. It's good news that God is going to bring an end to this wickedness and restore us to our heavenly homes. However, until that day comes, the Lord has provided us with road signs to warn us that the time is near. He has provided us with clear signs that we should know that the end is near. The Bible tells us that people will pop up claiming to be the Christ or to be the Messiah, but warns us not to listen. So rather than look at each and everything happening in the world and focusing your time and energy with a checklist of all of the signs of the times, I encourage you to focus your time and energy on seeking God. That should be our sole focus, to know Jesus Christ, to pray and to get to know him more. The Bible is calling us to wake up. The Lord wants us to wake up to the fact that there is a heaven and a hell. There is a day of judgment. I don't know about you, but heaven, from what I've read about heaven, it seems to be the better place. No more tears, no more sorrow, only joy, only peace. Oh, to be in the presence of the Lord for all of eternity. To be far away from the sickness and disease of this world. To be done with natural disasters and devastation. I encourage you to focus your time. To have a right relationship with Jesus Christ so that when we stand before him, we will hear the words, Well done, good and faithful servant. <laughs>